Okay, this is Butternut with Raid Shadow Legends, and I am going to go over how I soloed the uh, Hydra Normal. This is rotation number one, and I am going to show you, this is gonna be with uh, my best champs that I'm probably gonna end up using for Hydra Hard. On Hydra Hard, I did 47 million uh, the last time it was, it was here. You're gonna see that three or four of these champs are easily accessible and most everyone should have a Geo by now if you're doing Hydra. Um, I have deterrence on Geo. And this build, this one's my higher resist build. So he doesn't do a ton of damage, but he does have higher resist. Um, most, most of the champions, except for Trunda, I have between 220 and 250 resistance, probably about 220 and 270 resistance. I have Shamal, he's on deterrence. Right here I'm showing you the wrong Shamal that I used, so I'm gonna move over to the correct one. I also have him on War Master. Now this one I don't have fully booked. Um, what I don't want, honestly, is for him to do too much damage on the fear head. He is at 279 resistance. Next one is God Seeker. I have both of my God Seekers in Relentless Gear, and this one has higher resistance, so that's why this one's going to be my main. These are her masteries. They're kind of all over the place. I haven't redone her masteries in a while. This is my Trunda. She's on Helm Smasher. And I have her in a full Savage set. And these are her stats. Obviously the resistance I'd like to have higher, but I didn't build her for this. This is my Lydia. She has very high resistance. And these are her masteries on Eagle Eye. Here's my Mithrala. These are her masteries and she is about 350 resistance. So you're going to see that Mischief is going to steal buffs, just not I think as reliably as it would if my resistance was lower. Mithrala, obviously, you'll see that Mischief never steals boss, but the Tronda and the Geomancer, she steals a little bit more. So to start off, I am gonna get defense down and weaken on everyone. I know that the Cleansing Head, I can't remember the name, I'm not gonna look it up, but the Cleansing Head is obviously going to cleanse but i'm going to do as much damage as i can before he takes his first turn with geo i'm always going to do his a1 before cleansing head takes his first turn once the cleansing head takes his first turn i'm going to try and put a burn up now my main target is always going to be the fear head i will always be aiming for the fear head unless i have a nuke available and someone's almost dead So you'll see I'm doing all the damage that I possibly can before he takes his first turn. And then we're gonna have a reset. What I want him to do is to shield, I want the cleansing head to shield the fear head. So I'm popping the burn on mischief. My main goal is to get the two corners down as quickly as I can. With Shamil, I always A1 the fear head, obviously because I don't want to do too much damage. Now I am going to burn down the fear head, not on purpose. And a lot of people are struggling to get that head back and they always end up getting wrath. But the idea is the more heads that you can nuke down, then the higher chance you'll be able to get the easier heads to pop back up. 
So when I'm actually playing, there's going to be about a 20 minute span where I don't even get a fear head. But with the amount of heads that I'm burning down, he eventually comes back out. So I'm gonna let this run till probably about turn 15. Then I'm gonna speed it up when we actually run into maybe some issues or things that people will probably struggle with. So notice right here that when he does shield that fear head, I avoid him sometimes and let them take turns. So obviously you risk getting wrath back up instead of fear, but it doesn't even, but you just have to take the chance and like I said, just burn them down as quick as you can. So right here, obviously I'm doing as much damage as possible on all the headless. I know that they were gonna pop back up soon. When I have a few headless, and I have some that aren't headless, I really, I, I try to only let my damage dealers hit the headless ones, just because I'll get a significant amount more damage. But my support, um, I still, I try to hit the ones with heads because they don't do a whole ton of damage. My God Seeker Shield do probably about 40 or 50,000 on a headless but I still try to get the other ones down too. One of my most annoying heads is the poison head, so I always wanna try and get a block buff on him if no one else is almost down. If someone's almost down, then I'll get a block buff on them um, so the poison cloud can't go up. But I wanna bring the poison head down as quickly as I can. Now that the fear head came back out, even though I'm technically targeting the poison head, I'm always still gonna go for the fear head. The idea is to get Geo to come back around as much as I can because he does have an A1 and it will decrease accuracy. So notice I do have a headless right now, but I'm not targeting it. I'm still mostly going for that fear head just because I'm gonna get a ton of heads down. And if I start targeting the headless, then everyone else is gonna get their turns quicker. All right, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Okay, right here I got the fear head down and he's not gonna come back up and it's gonna be about a 20 minute span to where I don't get a fear head back. But like I said, the idea is that once the fear head is out of the picture, take on the next easiest target and continue to take on the next easiest target. And you wanna pop as many heads as you can just to get that chance to get the fear head back. If, if you have Shamal, if you don't have Shamal, you want to nuke the fear head as much as you can, just so you don't have to deal with it. Here I got the fear head back and I'm working on Wrath right now. This is probably not a good rotation to have Wrath in just because I'm trying to solo this thing. So, um, but the only good thing about having Wrath out is with Geomancer but I am still trying to get Wrath out of the picture no matter what, just because he does way too much damage and I don't have a ton of healing. So once again, I am aiming for the Fear Head, but I am going to be targeting Wrath. Right now with Geo coming back so often, because the Fear Head is out, I'm able to put up multiple burns. The best thing with Wrath is when your shields are available, and Wrath is close to 15, that's when you wanna start targeting Wrath just to get it done and over with once you have your shields out. If you don't have your shields out and you have another turn to go, then just try to hold off on that. Always keep an eye on the Cleansing Head's numbers and Wrath's numbers. I know I have one turn left before he does his cleanse. So instead of targeting him, I'm still targeting Fearhead with his A1s until I actually come back around with any type of nuke that I can, then I'll target the cleansing head. 
All right, what I want to do is bring down the cleansing head next, so I'll put up the block buff on him. Because I know that other head, can't remember his name either. I know he has one turn left for when he puts his ally protect on people. So the most important thing you want to pay attention to is the cleansing head's cooldowns and wrath's cooldowns. Um, with, well, with wrath mainly is his nuking number. So you want to make sure you pay attention to the fact that when it hits 13 or 14, you will have your shields available. Uh, to mitigate a lot of that damage and with cleansing head when he's at three and five that's when you can actually start nuking a lot harder but when his turn counters are at one and you have multiple debuffs up if both of them are at one then you know he's going to cleanse everybody but if only one person has a bunch of debuffs and they're both at one he's just going to shield that one person so you need to pay attention to that count 213 um, this thing lasts about 300 turns so it's going to go a little bit longer but I'm using the same strategy here so poison head came back out and wrath head just came out so I'm still going to try and nuke down the poison head so now that I noticed that fear head came out I can start aiming for that fear head once I get my other champ back the countdown to swallow has gone to five now so everyone's gonna get swallowed a little bit faster but i'm able to do a ton of damage on these guys to actually get them out quickly right now i know i'm not gonna have a lot of time so i'm just gonna keep nuking as much as i can and i do end up getting lucky on some of these uh swallows and getting the people out faster than i thought i would so right here is when they just start swallowing everyone on a two count. So it's gonna be near impossible. 